Alright, what's going on guys? So today I actually have some good surprises for you. If you follow me on Twitter, surprises are kind of spoiled a little bit, but I feel like that's kind of a little reward for following me on Twitter because I, I can't keep things a secret. Like if I get something new on Twitter or y'all like something goes down, it's like I just blast it off, man. So Legends Bundle, I was not originally going to do one of these today. Uh, yesterday, you couldn't tell me that I was pulling one of these today, but with the way that my current season is going you guys see i just purchased the bundle once again um, i i coincidentally had to do it so we have the topper we will talk about the topper when we get to the topper we have these 10 legend packs and again i, I can't believe that i'm doing this but today has just been so good it's been a cool day so here we go man legends packs let's hop into the first one and i want you guys to go ahead and smash that like button right now so I start off with Kellen Winslow, and look at this, we get a Munoz collectible, I hope I said his name right, we, oh, I thought that was an elite card, man, I actually heard people say, like, he's been the best player on their team, and we get a Jonathan Banks final edition, so maybe if we want to look into doing that Alshon Jeffrey collection, that might be uh, kind of clutch, 93 speed, 93 excel, the card is not too crazy, and somebody told me that they spelled his name wrong now i don't know if his name is jonathan or jonathan but if it's jonathan it's definitely somebody needs to get on that we need to get a, a ea dude on that hey so let's go ahead and hop into the next pack we get a deodorant collectible where are my legends at come on steven jackson i heard he was getting released a mike adams scott chandler a jonathan goodwin oh my goodness Yo, this season's gameplay, man. I'm trying not to spoil it. I'm trying. I might spoil it on Twitter. I'm not going to spoil it on Twitter. Roman Harper. Why do I get so many of this guy? I mean, I'm a, I'm a diehard Saints fan, and I love Roman, but come on. Let's look at an Aikman collectible. Nothing really that goes for too much right now. A Luke Wilson rising star. A Sam Shields, which was a great card to start off in Mutt, but right now, like, I don't know. Here we go. Cowboys, Jason Garrett, Brandon Carr, and no, Elite LaShawn McCoy. Now, I'm going to hold on to this McCoy because I'm like a, a hundred, a hundred percent sure that he's going to go into that Le'Veon Bell positional collection, and uh, that was a bold statement because I do feel like Le'Veon should be the positional collection for the running backs. So, I don't know, if, if you guys have anybody else you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. I would be interested to know who you guys think should uh the positional collection before you, you get what i'm saying phil taylor cowboy stadium in a theodore so back so far luckily we get 10 of these bad boys a gene upshaw rookie legends that is not too bad i will definitely work with that i, I like that pull upshaw is a boss and i do wait no i don't need another left guard josh sitting has been great oh I thought that was an elite card. It looks just like an elite, but we get this Gene Upshaw. Let's go ahead and look at him. 89 run block, 90. <laughs> Even his rookie legends card isn't bad. That's how you know the card is going to dominate. So let's go ahead, hop into the next pack. I clear my binder out for this. There has to be some flame inside these packs. Charles Godfrey. How many have I opened? I hope I, oh, jo you see what happens? I, I talk about Josh sitting. I did they put the football outsider cards back into packs? I did not know they did that. Like, the older? Because this sitting is kind of old. Hold on. Let me see how many. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to go all the way back to the, the pack opening screen now. Let me see how many packs I have. I guess I have five left, right? Four. Oh, my gosh. But we still have the topper. That's one thing I like about toppers, especially legend toppers. My packs can be completely trash, but... I get a topper that is great, and we are, yes, let's go. Taylor May, six foot three, 93 speed, 92 excel. Now, I didn't do a video on the Combine Warriors, but uh, this is a hell of a way to find out they are out, right? So Taylor Mays was the Combine Warrior for this week. This is one of my favorite promos because you get cards that are just stupidly, insanely athletic and it is pretty awesome so i won't go check out the set or anything up uh in uh, that manner guys so taylor mace i will take it definitely starting to move in the right direction oh auto gram collectible okay so taylor mace is going to give us some momentum we have to feed off of that momentum 
Terrell Revis, let's go. I don't think this goes for that much anymore, though. I don't know. I'm kind of just saying things right now. I have. This has to still be a cool pull, right? This Darrell Revis? I don't know. We might do the collection. No, actually, no, no, no. I just picked up a ton of new cornerbacks, man. Gosh, you guys are going to enjoy this season, man. I'm going to get a video out for you guys today. Trust me, as I get a Barry Church, a Jamarcus Webb. Oh, a, a Sammy Bar collectible. Now, this is one guy I really hope that is not. Hold on. Another Jonathan Banks. Where is the variety? Another Jonathan Banks. Taylor Mays again. Okay, so this is cool. This is this is not absolutely terrible. As long as we don't get Ball, Otto Graham, or, you know, I, I just want a topper that's insane. You know, not, nothing too crazy. Just, okay, we have one Legends pack left. Let's knock this pack out. Let's let's finish strong. Coop Nation, Coop Mafia, whichever you prefer. Theodore. Seahawks home. DeAndre Levy. What a beast this guy is, man. Absolute boss. DJ Fluker. Okay. Those packs were definitely not worth it, but that is okay. Oh, <laughs> I accidentally click quick sell because I think that's a sign that this Legends topper might not be good. Now, I tweeted earlier, Night Train in my veins, and that's how I still feel. I still feel like there is a Night Train, that there is an LT, that there is something crazy inside of this pack. Go ahead, smash the like button right now. Coop Mafia, let's get it. Elite Legends Topper. Who do we get? Oh, that is not good. That is not. Randall Cunningham. Um, I will take him. I will take him. I, I just wish we did a little bit better. Wow, man. Randall Cunningham. They release a new Cunningham. And I, I, I guess he wasn't one of the cards that I said I didn't want. I mean, I've heard good things about Cunningham. I've heard bad things about Cunningham. I really don't even want his new card because I heard that this card has a slow release and I'm guessing that the cards would be somewhat similar. I mean, they, they should have the same release. So, uh, with that being said, guys, that was kind of a downer, kind of a disappointment. But I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary regardless, man. Be sure to subscribe for more Madden 15 Ultimate Team and be sure to leave that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I'm Decoat. And I'm out. We're back with some more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, and your time has come if you've been hoarding elite badges. Now, that is a 2K slogan, motto.